we're back. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Strike 3 Fishing. We're actually put in here at 107 ramp. Got some walkways in. I really don't know what it's like to tie a boat up other than docking it on the concrete like I've been doing all winter. But it's kind of nice to have a walkway, tie up to it, all that good stuff right there. So we're going to go uh, live scope some crappie today. We're going to, they're starting to scatter. So uh, we're going to try to go pick some bigger ones off some trees. Might find some schools, you know, some smaller schools and stuff like that. And uh, see if we can't put some in the boat for everybody. So stay with us and uh, let's get in the old skeeter and go catch some crappie. All right, we're going to put you guys and gals on the chesty mode today. And we're going to go see if we can't find some Mark Twain Lake crappie. There's going to probably be some fish scattered right now. It's that time of year. Here we are March the 20th. But we're going to try to target some better fish. We're going to start out with the 1 16th ounce dwarf pear jig. My thumper jigs here. This is the... Uh, pink lemonade right there and then we got a 15 pound sniping braid we got a 10 foot edgar rod we got the art and finesse 1000 reel so uh, let's uh see what we can find back here we're just going to go back up to this trees here we got the wind in our face catch some roman fish here Get down to them quick enough. Here he comes, here he comes, come on. Got him. That was a roamer fish right there. That's just a nice crappie. A 10 inch fish right there. Got that choked. I might keep a few for the skillet today. It's a good eater, first one of the day. Let's go get him again. There's two decent ones down there, it looks like. Just stay on them here. Wind's howling pretty good. There he is. Come on. Got his attention. Come on. Come on. Got him. Never felt him. But he ain't very big. <laughs> Look a little bigger on the screen. right there that's a better one there yep right there on that tree right there that's a nice crappie right there beautiful right on that tree come up didn't really feel him too much he just kind of sucked it in watch him on the screen perfect just out sniping these crappie right now it's number two Like there's a decent one or two down there that might want to play. There he is right there. Well, that's a just a fat eater. Not very big though. He might be, I don't think he's even gonna be pushing nine. We're not gonna keep him. There's a big one right there. Got him roaming. Oh yeah. Uh, 
That was a good fish there. Dang it. He was up in the water column roaming. That was a good fish. fish I'm just not seeing the fish I need to see in here there's a few roamers but I lost that real good one got a couple eaters in there smaller fish I think we're gonna make a move and uh, head to another pocket so uh, put the trolling motor up and we're gonna head down the lake and we'll see when we get there there's another big nice black crappie out of this uh, cedar patch here We're right on the top of it kept it above it and uh, he come out and got it. It's a nice crappie right there. It's number three. There's another fish that's roaming. Not a very big fish though. That fish was roaming. I didn't have the camera on. It's been kind of slow. Been finding roamers here, but it seems like they're running from it. Here he comes. Come on. Got him. It's a little better one. Oh, yeah. A little better fish right there. It's a roaming fish. Love catching these roamers this time of year. We switched that eighth ounce uh, dwarf uh, gold nugget head with the Wild Willie's Cajun Cricket. It's a beautiful fish right there. Nice and chunky. It'll taste good tonight in a skillet. And have some fried fish tonight, I think. Fried fish and potatoes. Can't beat that. So we just got to go around, just find these individual fish that are roaming and uh, drop down on them and, you know, get them to bite. That one's gonna come and play. Here he comes. Got him right there. Another nice one. Oh, that's two in a row. That was some of that same group that I just dropped down on. That's a nice fish. Just solid eater. Ten inch fish here at Mark Twain Lake. What we got here? Two, three, four. That's number five. Ah, oh, I had to go. There's one right there. That's a little eater. school here he's gonna just be barely nine we'll throw him in the box so gotta get ready to go I ain't got much more time but he bit like he's supposed to Let's see if we can get another one in there Nice fat 10 incher. Nice fat one. Beautiful. All right. Well, I got to cut the day short. It's about uh, 3:30. I got to get to the house. All that good stuff. So anyway, uh, we'll get back to the boat ramp, and I'll close this video out. So we'll see you all there.
hope everybody enjoyed this video. Uh, it's real windy day. It's kind of chilly today, but uh, got out for a few hours. Uh, trying to put some crop in the box. I got seven in there. Just that's enough for dinner for the wife and I tonight. But uh, anyway, uh, the baits we used today was the uh, Gold Nugget Thumper Dwarf Pillhead with the uh, Wild Willies uh, Cajun Cricket Wall Bash, and uh, also used the. Uh, pink lemonade dwarf hair jig from thumper jigs right there uh, Edgar 10 foot rods I got my uh, Arden Finesse 1000 reel and I got the 15 pound sniping braid same song and dance anyway fun day to get on the water hope everybody enjoyed it and uh, I'm gonna go to the house get these fish cleaned and fry them up so stay tuned for the next video we're gonna be out here probably tomorrow and uh, try to make another video thanks again for watching hit that subscribe button hit that bell and we'll see everybody on the next one.